high school flute students, I'm Joelle Teal from MyFluteMentor.com, here to talk to you about all district auditions. I know, I know, it's summer and auditions feel forever away, right? Still, you know as well as I do that summer always passes too quickly and schedules won't get any more open once marching band, school, and fall sports get underway. Now really is the best time to start working on your audition literature, and I'm here to help. This year, I've created an online video course with over 30 hours of streaming content broken down into more than 130 targeted lessons to help you learn your etudes, practice more effectively, hone your technique, and improve your overall sound. I'll take you through each measure and every etude to help you learn everything from the basics, notes, rhythms, articulations, to breathing plans, dynamic ideas, and so much more. With chapters covering better practice habits, individual etudes, audition tips and tricks, and additional resources like tone and technique work, you can jump around and work on what you most need help with completely on your own schedule. It's like having a private flute teacher for every practice session. I auditioned on this literature when I was in high school, I've been teaching privately for over a decade, and I've been serving as a high school all district flute judge in Kansas City for several years. I know your struggles, I know how to help you overcome them, and I know what your judges are listening for. And of course, I'll share all my secrets with you. No matter where you're at or how much you've already learned, regardless of whether you currently take private lessons or not, and whether you're a senior that's made all state every year or a freshman that's never taken an audition before, I can help you prepare the literature and yourself for these auditions. Enroll today to start streaming and learning now. And if you don't love this course for any reason, just email me in the first 14 days for a complete refund. Check out the rest of this video to get an idea of what all we'll be covering. Happy practicing! Not only am I going to teach you the step-by-step -step method to learn so much literature so quickly and accurately, but we're also going to discuss how to stay mentally engaged in your practice. Moving back to thumb B flat. We are back in a flat key, so switch back to using thumb B flat again. You do see a few B naturals marked throughout, but we'll talk about transitioning back to the thumb B key as they arise in the practice videos. Most air support, openness, chin up, posture, any of those things would be good to think about now. Holding three. sound. How are you going to make it better? All your fingerings correct? After that high G, are you making sure your thumb goes back to thumb B flat? Pause and then come back to me when you are ready to do long short through this. Here we go. in every piece where mid-register E-flat shows up, make sure you are not adding L1, no C key, to that fingering. That muddles the tone, it will be apparent to your judge. All right, those finger blips, that's the next thing. Pay attention to your finger technique here. We want clear, precise transitions between all your notes, so keep those fingers close to the keys and curled, not, not flat, none of this, curled, when you practice in your patterns and with a metronome. Okay, we're gonna play it a couple more times together and then you're on your own. Ready and go. One more reminder, no thumb B flat. We take the thumb B flat off in 16 because 17 we have a G flat on there. I promise you, your judge will notice that if your thumb B flat is still down on that high G flat. It has to be over to thumb B. Okay, now to 15. Ready, go. If you're not breathing in 16, 18, and 20, I think kind of like filling up the tank as you go may not be a bad idea. And definitely at 24, grabbing that air there. All right, first up is air releases. One of the ways we can increase our speed and agility in pieces like this with those varied articulations and lots of staccatos is to ensure we are using air releases. Ideally, we want to be using air releases all the time. They give a much more fluid, polished, mature musical sound. To demonstrate what I'm talking about, listen carefully. This first time through, I'm gonna play these two, beginning two measures with tongue stops. 
Do you hear how those staccatos are not being stopped with the tongue? Air release. Tongue stop. Count in finger or articulate your subdivision or play while we count. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and a three and four and five and six lolly, one lolly, two lolly, three, four, five and six and one, two, three, four, five, six lolly, one lolly, two lolly, three lolly, four lolly, five lolly, six lolly, one and two and three, four, five and six. And one and two and three lolly, four lolly, five lolly, six lolly, one lolly, two lolly, three. In the gigue, we see many instances of sudden or subito dynamic changes, usually where we're jumping right from forte to piano. These transitions must be executed carefully in order to maintain beautiful tone and intonation. Take this piece with you, take the gigue with you, and head over to the dynamics discussion in the additional resources chapter for more details and information on the physical side of how to create the dynamic changes. Now let's talk about how we judges are actually scoring your audition. Now let's break this down further to get an even better concept of what kind of audition would land in each of those categories. That's where we're going. Play just the grace for a minute. Did you hear that? I wasn't open enough. And I also think about firming up in the center and shifting my lips a little bit more outward in the middle as I, as I breach that interval. Let's put that back in, in time at 12. Ready? down the dynamics we've broken down your breathing uh, we've talked through the end changes first now we're kind of looking backwards you know those espressivo sections so we talked about that as being expressive espressivo dolce you have this is romantic music you have the opportunity to kind of like push and pull a little bit just like we did at the end but to a far lesser degree so you can stretch you can pull but the the overall structure still must be in place Okay. Performance strategies are different mental tricks to help us stay focused on the music. Try several of them for every etude, play around with them, figure out which ones help you stay in the music the most. These are here to help you bring your best to the audition as a way to give your mind something to focus on, to settle on, that aids in the musical production, but kind of brings you out of the, the nitty gritty details. One and two and three lovely, four lovely, five lovely, six lovely, one. And two and three, lovely, four, lovely, five, lovely, six, lovely, one and two, and and a three, and four and five, lovely, six, lovely, one, lovely, two, lolly, three, lovely, four, lolly, five, lolly, six, lolly, one and two, and three and four and five and six, 